Boy, let me tell you what. This program is intended for a mature audience. If you are not 18 or older, stop listening and find more age-appropriate content. This show will cover serious topics in a satirical manner. If you're offended by any content herein, boy, I tell you what, that's your own problem. You've been warned. Don't try this at home or anywhere else, even in denying. Are they gone? Good. Fuck those guys. Let's let you shoot. And good morning, everyone, and welcome to... Shit, wrong intro. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck it, everybody. You're fired. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> Not the 10th time today, but I pray to God it's the last I could use the vacation. All right, folks, everybody, welcome to the BHN special, the Peregrinus Cloud Vapes Surprise, because I can never remember the name. <laughs> I can never remember anything's name. I even write this shit down, and I can't read my handwriting. All right, folks, today's episode is brought to you in part by our great, grand, and glorious friends at Resurrection Vapor at ResurrectionVapor.com. Lines upon lines of the most utterly fantastic juices you could ever find in the known fucking universe. That's up to and including the hammer down on the diesel line, that, ooh, resurrection line, the uh, Chronicles of Nah, the, my personal favorite, SOB, just because the name is accurate. And I love you, Hasley. And of course, that Phantology line, because when you hit 88 miles an hour, you'll see some shit. And let's not forget, he's gone green, folks. He's got that hempanomics line. Ooh. Yes, he does. Yeah, it's, a, it's an actually infused CBD, and it mm. doesn't have a throat burn like the normal shit does. Ooh. Because it's an actual infusion, not just a salt additive. Ha! He knew what he was doing. Rugs again, old, folks. That's has got a new Odin now, too. Fuck! All right, folks, that's once again <laughs> Resurrection Vapor at ResurrectionVapor.com. Oh, and guess what? You can find his stuff at two fantastic locations from our other friends, James and Jackie Greer. They just happen to have two stores, one in Berlin, Wisconsin, fuck the police, one in Portage, Wisconsin, fuck cancer, fuck the FDA, and fuck yourself for not getting down to Ideal Vapor. They've got absolutely everything you could ever feasibly want, because if they don't have it, they will order it for you and laugh at you. I'm not kidding at that part, because Jackie will kick your ass at pool, which they have for free every Friday. Mm-hmm. And I'm not kidding. She will, like, beat you with a stick. It goes places. She has lube. <laughs> I was Why? I was lucky she had lube that day. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> According to Tim, it doesn't always have lube. It depends on what mood she's in. Exactly. Sometimes she breaks up the sandpaper. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, folks. Go there. Have some fantastic times. God knows we've been there enough, but obviously not enough. That's Ideal Vapor at Ideal Vapor LLC. And, oh, yeah, the man, the myth, the legendary Rico agent himself, Ken Andrews. How's it going, guys? Yeah, the man who leads the Peregrinus Cloud Vapes, the wholesaler to the stars that's got... Thousands, if not tens of thousands of juice. Mm -hmm. And mods continuing to grow. Yeah. Regular box (laughs) mods, mech mods, pretty much anything Anything you want want. that's high quality that could be available at your local B&M store. Talk to this man. Get his shit If it's not on my site, I'll find it for you. He's not kidding. You the man. Yeah, this this guy makes a fucking paranoid NSA guy... (laughs) Actually, that's me. Uh, yeah, seriously, this this guy will dig up shit an angry housewife can't find, all right? That's impressive. I don't know about that. Yeah, I can. He's found a juice line that was discontinued three years ago for yes. me. Ooh. And a mod that was discontinued. Thank you, by the way. <laughs> oh, great thing. It burned out three days after I bought it. Damn Sorry. it! <laughs> I can't help you that. Yeah, I'm not, not blaming you. I knew it would happen eventually. It was more a sentimental thing. That's not his fault. <laughs> I, I don't blame him. It, 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 it just looks cool, and it's red, so fuck off. Oh, so, speaking of that legend himself, he brings with him today some treasures. Yes. Brand new Purge Ally pod system. 
thing looks awesome. Yeah, it's basically a mini box mod in a pod. It looks mm-hmm. like a Zippo lighter. Yes, it does. And it does up to 30 watts. It does stainless steel, temp control. Panels are customizable to any co- any design you want. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it has like these uh, faces that you can yeah. take off and you can collect as many as you want. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is cool. And it so. comes in three colors, black, stainless steel, and t- uh, the flame flame treated, which is uh, now being discontinued, so it's now collector's. So, so, yeah, folks, um, contact this man now if you want to purge Ally, because they will be going fast. They are going fast. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Fair Especially enough. at the price point they're at. So I know. There's a reason you and I are doing business after the show. <laughs> Or during the show, not until, well, no, after, after the show. show. After the show, They don't after. need to know my PayPal information. Right. No, no, no. Only me and the bank need to know how broke I am. They have this really great service where they text you your balance after they after you buy something. It's really useful. I just wish they'd stop adding LOL at the end of every text. <laughs> <laughs> I need that feature with my bank account. Like, well, my, that my, would be very my helpful. My bank, if I, make a, if I make a purchase, they freeze it until they find out it's authorized. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. You must not buy things a lot then, because that would be annoying. I do it all the time. Really? Yeah. Oh, Mine does it every time I go out of state. Every time. No, I'm talking, it's like, if I'm down in the Beloit area, and I just happen to go over to South Beloit to get some tacos, because they have better tacos over there. (laughs) Okay. That that sounds not racist at all, but I mean, whatever, it's fine. What type of tacos? (laughs) All the tacos. Equal your opportunity tacos, taco eater. Okay? Your fish tacos, your shrimp tacos, all the tacos. Although I will start questioning people if there's cottage cheese on those tacos. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, I stop over the border. I use my debit card once. Even if it's like 20 feet over the border, boom, frozen. What the fuck? That's annoying. Well, well I'm, that, I'm uh, thankful to have a bank that's as paranoid as I am. Which is a lot. As inconvenient as it is, it's as they have a twenty four seven line, so it's like, hey, can you unfreeze my shit? Yeah. Yeah, that's my social. Yeah. Yes, this is me calling you. And that's my yes, charge. this happened last week. And that's my charge. And <laughs> yes, yes, I did spend one hundred and fifty bucks at Pornhub. <laughs> awesome. Good job, yeah. Michael. What yeah. they planted one hundred and fifty trees. Well, at least you didn't find out that your debit card was deactivated today, because that was me, and I have no idea why. So I have to take that up on Monday. Yay, me. <laughs> and they did it on a Saturday. Yeah, mine was done on a Sunday, and they called me and said, did you make this charge? I said, yeah, I did. I was completely deactivated. Like, I went to the ATM because I was trying to order food earlier, and the payment wasn't going through online. What bank do you go through? Blackhawk. Okay. So I went to the ATM because my online banking, like, I can't get into it right now. So I went to the ATM to check my balance and out spits out the receipt and it says card deactivated. Hmm. And I have no money in my account either. And I'm like, what the, what the shit? So I I called up the customer service line. It's taking forever. So I'm like, I'll just deal with it on Monday. They told me that a bunch of bills came out. So I know that is the reason why I'm broke, but I don't understand why my card got deactivated. (laughs) So, I got to figure that out on Monday. It is weird. <laughs> it is, because it's not expired for like another three years, so I don't understand. Well, those dicks. And I didn't deactivate it. Yeah. All right. So, so let's. not only did he bring the Purge ally with him today, but he also brought with him some delicious deuces, well, at least in theory, delicious anyways. <laughs> I don't know because I haven't tried them yet. We're gonna find <laughs> out. Yeah. It's a. You're gonna want to make sure those are juicy. Those are fresh cotton. I didn't okay. even pre-drip right. them or anything. All right. Get it wet, Ken. I don't want to overflow it though. <laughs> Get it wet. <laughs> it's a double barrel. It's fucking waterproof now. But still, I don't want juice running down the side of it. That's yeah, that's fair. icky. Nobody wants juice. Well, I don't know. You might want juice all over you. It, it depends, depends on the kind of juice. Yeah, it depends on the juice. Yes. <laughs> I, don't know. I love juice on her thighs. I'll lick it off. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! So, what's this first this one, one you got? The merge. The merge by Flawless. It's called Transmission. Yeah, and it's kind of a strawberry-ish cotton. Strawberry candy. cotton candy, supposedly. 
So, mm-hmm. first time for everything. Mm-hmm. Now I got three mods set up. They're all 24 gauge, seven wraps, stainless steel. They should be ready to rock and roll at about 50 watts each. 50 watts? Okay. Yeah. This one was down to 20. <laughs> yeah, that's I, I pre-fired them. So what kind of flavors we got on the menu tonight, Ken? Well, this first one's a strawberry cotton candy. Ooh. There you go. I'm going to no. like that. Yeah, I just want to smell it. Yeah, I'll blow it in your face, Rose. <laughs> Ooh. It's not bad. Yeah, you definitely get the strawberry, and you get that, like, cotton candy, candy. super sugar hit. Yeah. I pre-apologize if I get lipstick on any of these mods. Yeah. It all wipes it, off. If you get lipstick <laughs> it's on... Like, it's pretty transfer-proof, but, like, you never know. I've been single for over a year. I've got no one that's going to bitch about <laughs> lipstick on any on any penis I have. That's yeah, personal electronic nicotine inhalation system, folks. Noted. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Ooh. That is on my list. I like that a lot. A lot, it a lot. smells good, too. For early. Here. <laughs> just smell it. Take a little smell. hit. Just take a little hit. Just taste it. She tiny doesn't hit. do Nick. Oh, it smells yummy. You're willing to do CBD. You're willing to do alternatives, but not negative. She doesn't do Nick. It makes her wig out like how so, Johnny wigs out. So what do you think of that, Mike? That, it's, the flavor's honestly on point for exactly what it advertises. It's fucking on point. You get that, you get a candy strawberry hit. That's the first one. And then you get that aerated shook high, high sugar, sh- yeah yeah on the back end that makes it a cotton candy so it's exactly as it advertises uh yeah it's nice i mean am i gonna go oh my god this needs to be my all-day vape not particularly because no. i fucking hate strawberry i don't know why you oh. guys don't like strawberry like it, because when everything we, is strawberry when we first, <laughs> everything is strawberry. When we first started no, like no when we all first started vaping Everything I know. Everything was all strawberry all the time. I know, because that's a very popular flavor. Everybody likes that strawberry. And, uh, blueberry, raspberry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, raspberry. blue raspberry. It's yeah. like, imagine getting like the perfect dick all the day, all time, but that's all you get. That's okay. I'm totally okay with that. I don't know <laughs> what you're talking about. Like, However, he only lasts for a minute. No, Well, that sucks. No. But that's all you then get. Then it wouldn't be perfect. No, that's exactly. not perfect dick. I mean, unless it just looks pretty, but nobody wants a dick that just looks pretty. <laughs> exactly. And it's fine. It's great. It's glorious. It is what it is. But at the same time, it's like, it's it, it's not enough. There's no It variety. doesn't work. <laughs> it's exactly. Like, I, I, it's like, it will, ev- it, for, it will eventually get you to where you need to go. But at the end of the day, it's like, I can do better myself. No, I don't. I don't need. What? What is it? What's the song? Oh no, that's. I don't want no short dick man. Never mind. That's a different song. <laughs> don't want no short dick man. <laughs> yeah, have you so, never heard that what's, song? Yes. What's yes. your opinions of the stupid bullshit that's going in the news lately? Oh my god, what's I see it everywhere. Bullshit? It's annoying. Teens in the hospital are yeah. complaining about lung problems. That is fucking bullshit all right they're using fucking fake cartomizers with synthetic thc in them yeah they're using the case shit yeah it's uh, what the fuck was it uh the, not ketamine the fucking it's the uh, f- synthetic pot yeah, yeah the propaganda is just getting a little yeah, ridiculous i can't remember uh, it was like two years ago i can't remember the fucking name but it's just fucking bullshit and the fact that one they vaped with it which was retarded it was designed to be smoked, just like a flower, just like everything else. It was not designed to be vaped. So they took something that's already insanely potent. They made it even more potent by distilling it down to a finer level, but then they put it in something not designed for it. They also cut it with castor oil. Oh, yeah. Let's oh. just give people diarrhea. Yeah. That's what they were vaping, castor oil with the K-12. Oh, yeah. K-12. Give you diarrhea. Awesome. Go for it. You have at it, you stupid Now you know why teenagers. they have lung problems. <laughs> right. <laughs> because they are literally deep frying their own lungs with synthetic weed. Oh, my God. Dumb 
asses. All right. God. A bit of the bullshit that I know of, though, it's in Wisconsin, the new vape tax they're planning on putting out. Yeah, that's it's bullshit, like too. five cents per milliliter per step of distribution. Yes. So five cents per milliliter from the maker. Five, five cents, cents from the distro. Five, five cents, cents, cents from, from the shop. shop. Then it goes all to the customer. Yeah. Wow. So you're so looking that's... at... So say we'll, t- we'll pick on a 30 mil for instance. You're looking at five bucks? No, you're looking at... Well, it's 15 cents per milliliter. So fifteen times thirty. All right, four fifty. All right, yeah. Better so stock up now, guys. Five bucks. Five bucks. But then the store has to make money off of that. Yeah, they, but that five can... bucks is transferring from every step. Yeah. So, so you're talking fifteen dollars for a thirty mil added on to what's going for right now. Yeah. Start stocking up. So you're literally doubling the doubling the price of a thirty mil. Right, and it's all because uh, forgive my French, that damn governor. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, the one who was in in the first place wasn't doing much better. But he wasn't taxed in the vape industry. <laughs> he wasn't taxing anything. I don't. I don't care. Who he was, was in slashing office. taxes they just on don't all know of his how rich to do buddies. Their jobs right. So that, that was the overall issue. It's that nobody was doing the right things with the ability that they can do. They are so up their own. They are so focused on getting reelected and making money off of that instead of doing their fucking jobs. True. Now, the, uh, just just came out today, um, CVS says vaping can help get you off cigarettes if you quit the tobacco version. So, you no. tell me. No. <laughs> it's the oral fixation that people... It works, be- it works better than the drugs, is what they're saying. Yeah. All right. They have a point. It does help the oral fixation factor of it. The problem is you still have the chemical addiction from the chemicals that are in cigarettes. Nicotine in and of itself is mildly addictive, but only it's no about – coffee. It's like 10% as addictive as caffeine. Yeah, it's yeah. like in three days it's out of your system. Yeah. Yeah. But exactly. the thing is that's going to be three days of a living hell. True, but it's better than drinking the 7,000 yeah. chemicals that a cigarette has in it. Yeah. Right. And if you can make those three days, you you have a much better chance than if you didn't. And then you still have that oral fixation factor. But that's almost like the old one where folks would quit smoking and just chew gum. True, but the gum, they're, 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 they're saying nice. e-cigarettes work better than all the uh, patches, gums. Yep. Even yeah. the can- well, that's Chantex. because you can simulate the mouth to lung hit you can simulate the cigarette hit you you take care of the oral fixation and you get the distraction of the flavors and plus you can control your own nicotine level well they don't want you said they don't want to do nicotine though no but i'm just saying they were saying that a cigarette's what about 12 around there nicotine depends on what brand depends on the brand depends on a lot of things but but you can control the nicotine in a knee juice where you can't in a cigarette yeah it's like you can step down, just right. like uh, the patches and the gums. They have the whole step down thing. Right. And even then, all right, they're not wrong, okay, if you don't use the tobacco version. Well, here's the trick, folks. The nicotine in your e-juice doesn't come from fucking tobacco. No, it's from no. potatoes, eggplant, tomatoes, stuff yeah, like that. It comes from the nightshade family, not fucking grass. <laughs> what comes from the nightshade family? Sorry. Nicotine. 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 It's an all- Family members from the nightshade family. Nightshade shit will fucking kill you. What? The nightshade family, family. not the nightshade plant. Okay. You eat, if you eat the eggplant, if you eat the eggplant, you take nicotine in. Oh, if really? you eat potatoes, you take, take nicotine, nicotine in. in. If you eat tomatoes, you take nicotine in. Interesting. Yeah. Things that I didn't know until right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is where they get all of the nicotine for our it, it's all bla- it's So all... you're saying, in theory, I could quit smoking cigarettes by eating an eggplant? <laughs> if you ate enough of it, it's you good. You cannot take it vaginally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not well, saying. Could. I'm just saying, in theory, like, I'm not going to actually do this because I enjoy vaping and okay, I our, just need to figure as, out. As my beloved brother put it, just because you put the Mons and Monster doesn't mean you can take everything that way, okay? God damn it. <laughs> Stop making everything sexual. <laughs> That's fine. I don't care. God, <laughs> I've heard time. stories. I've had you on Midnight Sushi. I still want to tie you up. Yeah, seriously. It's got to happen. Yeah. I'm just saying. Like, we... Hello. The, the, we have the capabilities. Not anymore. I actually gave away all my equipment. Why? What did you give away? All my gear. 
To whom? My former mentor's other apprentice. Okay. Because she has absolutely jack shit, and I've walked away from the community. So you don't have your guitar case anymore? Nope. I'm sad. Why? Because all this means is I get to build a new one. Yeah, true, true. Build it bigger, better, and more epic. <laughs> you actually still have the case, though. Nope. The guitar case. Got rid of all of it. Except okay. for my knife collection, 150 feet of rope, just because that's always useful to have around, and my paddle. Well, aren't we using the rope to tie me up? No. <laughs> that's, that's at home and packed in a box, so. Okay, but that's what... It, well, we're not doing it tonight. It's Ken <laughs> Andrews' show, not tying the Andy up show tonight. I'm just he saying. He wants to tie you up. We never <laughs> asked what he's into. Whatever. Well, Ken, a- Ken, Ken can be invited. <laughs> Nobody's stopping him. Fantastic. <laughs> so let's let's move on to the next news. Wow. Here you go, Mike. <laughs> so this next one's from down south. Down the south. Melon yeah. lime punch. punch. Yes. Ooh. Oh, that sounds good too. These are all sounding very like good. Did, did you just pick these out for these two? No, not really. Okay. I just picked a bunch of. Oh, these are all brand I new like samples, fruity so. shit. I do too. I put okay. enough on there. Yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you okay, Michael? I'll live. Okay. <coughs> okay. It's definitely as advertised. Helps what it? What it? What is it again? Melon, melon punch. Melon lime punch. Melon lime punch. It's got a very strong lime. Yeah. Yeah, it does. And I get that right dead center like along a- the back of the tongue. Oh. <laughs> I'm liking all of these so far. <laughs> no, this is really good. It tastes like a limeade. That's what yeah. it tastes like. Yeah, it's got a little uh, the lime yeah. in the inhale and the watermelons on the exhale. Yeah, Ooh. and that would be why because I fucking hate it's watermelon. Really good. I hate watermelon vapes. Uh, pri- uh, only primarily because they never leave coils. Michael, ever. You what? Didn't say it right. Watermelon. 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 She's got panties. <laughs> but I got water malone to keep me clean. I, I'm sorry, but I'm so wh- I'm so white it's my last name. I can't do that voice very well. Water malone. My five year old can do it. He's not quite five yet, but a eh, couple days. It's fucking funny. Do do do. So yeah. I'm a fan. Honestly, That's it's good. Funny. It is as advertised. It's uh, like it's melon lime melon limeade essentially yummy and yummy, lime yummy. Made, yep. it's it's as advertised so I will give them a point it's spot on once again it's just not, not your thing no, it is my not, thing not, though not, the not. last two things have been my thing <laughs> a lot of things are your thing uh, it depends on the thing depends uh, on her mood <laughs> well Johnny Rob yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I love you, and, and, Johnny. <laughs> granted, in all fairness, the man is hung like the Empire State Building. So I do not need to which know. Which one? I don't both? Need to know. Yeah, bo- well, both, technically, sorry. Not oh, fair. It, it, yeah. well, this Nobody one. needs to know this information, though. Yeah, we do. <laughs> this one's um, strawberry kiwi cotton candy. Yeah. Ooh. So, Strawberry kiwi cotton candy. So we have a lot of cotton fun, candy tonight. So, fun yeah. fact, folks. Long time ago, and this is possibly not dating me, uh, there was this drink called Fruitopia. I don't know if anybody Fruitopia. remembers this fucking drink because fuck it's your not couch. not dating you because you're freaking younger than me. That doesn't take much. <laughs> I'm now going to die. <laughs> But anyways, my favorite drink from them was a strawberry kiwi, and they don't make Fruitopia anymore, and I've been trying to hunt down a reasonable substitute. And the name of the thing is called Mer... You pronounce it. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Merica. Merica. Yeah, Merica. M-E-R-I-C-A. Yeah, Merica. 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 Fuck yeah. Yeah, it's Merica. Down so, south up. Merica. So it was juicy. So. Juicy, juicy. Juicy, juicy. Juicy fruit is going to move ya. Oh, my All lord. Right. I don't taste the cotton candy as I don't, much. I taste more of the strawberry. Yeah, I taste the fruit in there, definitely. Now, mind you, that's not necessarily saying much, just because it could be the atomizer, it could be 
the steel, the build, everything else. So go fuck your couch on that one. But just because all the builds in here are all the same, I can't taste the cotton candy. But everything else, the strawberry, the kiwi, that's fucking on yeah, point. Yeah, it kind of comes out. It comes out very strong. So. Let's see. You know, even getting a bit of spit back and tasting the juice for itself, I don't taste the cotton candy. Yeah, with this one, I don't taste it either. The other one was Honestly, definitely more cotton candy. It tastes more like a strawberry kiwi version of like Laffy Taffy almost. Almost, yeah. Yeah. Almost, yeah. Not like There is taffy. a little candy on the end, but not like uh Yeah, not cotton candy, candy though. No. It's supposed to be cotton candy, so. Yeah, but it, not to say taffy e-liquids, James and Jackie. No, no, no. Your shit is fire. Yours is the all-time best taffy I've ever yes, had. Yes, it's so good. And that's not me praying to the almighty gods that they are because boss lady and i'm afraid of her but <laughs> uh not a whole lot actually do i frighten you michael no i don't think so i'm do i scare you no no <laughs> really not even close i don't this scare way. anybody your husband's afraid of you i think you're cute Aww. Aww. Granted, I have the advantage of actually being able to run like hell whenever you get angry. This is true. But yeah, it's it's strawberry kiwi. Yeah, that's probably my least favorite so far, though. Mm-hmm. This one's called Fleet Street. Yeah, Fleet these, Street, like a demon barber from Fleet Street. Yeah, pretty much. All right, so it will be the Sweeney Todd. Yeah, it's ready. So, strawberry lime... No, this one's strawberry watermelon. All right, strawberry watermelon. Strawberry watermelon! <laughs> strawberry watermelon! And yeah, you get strawberry on the uh, inhale and watermelon on the ex. It's a little wet. <laughs> Stop slobbering on things! Yeah. God damn, with this much liquid pouring down my throat, I feel like I'm Catholic again. <laughs> The power of Christ compels you, okay? <laughs> it's even dripping Father down Father said, Holy Spirit. It's like, Bless you, Father. my child. If you notice, I was holding it like this. <laughs> I'm just trying to overpower the first Get my call a pair of rosary beads. No, I've got three. A stainless steel chain mail that I made and two others I was gifted. Well, one I was gifted, the other I was gifted, and then the fixed. Fuck? Mean you look like a frog. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, that was so weird. <coughs> yeah, strawberry watermelon, and that's straight up strawberry watermelon. Yep, I will give them that. It's heavy on the watermelon. It's very heavy on the watermelon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> choke it, choke it. It's good though. Mm. I like it. Wow, it's strawberry. It's strawberry. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, it's pretty so good. We've got a couple others that we're not necessarily testing. testing. We're more, they're more just here to kind of look at and cuddle. Yeah. Um, they're, they're from Nasty. Um, nasty Juices. Nasty Juice. I like that name. Nasty. That's because oh, you love Nasty to, Juice. Wait to hear some of the names of the juices. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> nasty. Nasty. Well, this one's called slow blowing. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Uh, Wicked haze. Wicked haze. Uh, hey hey hey. And ASAP grape. ASAP. So Where the yes. fuck? I is, like the slow blowing. Gremlin. The That's what I'm he saying. Needs... Gremlin would, would love this one. Yeah, and you sent me another, it was one by Adrenaline that was a grape. Yes. And I'm like, where the fuck is Gremlin? And what are each of those supposed to be like? This one is what they call double fruity. Which one is that? These are the ones. These are double fruities. They're double fruities? They're double fruities. But they're all from Nasty. All all these are from Nasty. Okay. Can I have these too? Yeah. Can I see that box? Those are for you guys. Oh, okay. Can I see them? Yeah. Oh, to see nasty juice. We got a berry. Yes. This one's a berry berry series. Yoink. Because if there's a blackberry in there, it's fucking mine. Ooh, Here, take a look that at that. Would be awesome. Just give the names. Out. Devil teeth. Devil yep. teeth. That's an orange. Bad blood. Bad oh, blood. Like that, that bad blood's good. I love that. Is one. it? Is yeah. it like a blood orange? No, it's uh, 
strawberry something or another. I think pomegranate or something. Fat like boy. Ooh, fat, fat boy. boy. Might have to try that on principle. A uh, broski berry. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. What is it? Here, uh, it's uh, Scottish. It's a Scottish berry. Scottish. Okay, that just sounds yummy. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I don't know. The last time I wore a kilt, someone made a comment about my Scottish berries. <laughs> oh, no, God. Do they hang that low, Michael? <laughs> I mean, I do shave during the warmer months, so. Okay, well, that's good to know. <laughs> All right. Sicko blue, I'm going to hazard a guess it's just a blue raspberry. That's a blue raspberry, yes. Okay. So we are going to eventually have to try that one just to compare to the 30 billion awesome, oh, awesome blue, blue ras- raspberries out there. So. Yeah, we got the blue raspberries from Taffy. We've got the blue raspberries from the three different blue raspberries from Resurrection because there's 88 on Phantology. There's one of the ones on the Resurrection line. I can't remember what it is. Cause, and I know he also has a Blue Moon ice cream. <gasps> because... That sounds good. Seriously? Yeah, he also yeah. brought out... Very wi- he also Wait. brought out Odin, which is a uh, cotton candy. I forget what the fruit is on it, though. Hmm. A blue moon? Oh. And then stargazing. Stargazing? I'm not sure about that one. Well, then, let's give Here, it a here's, hit. Here's your um, broski. Broski. Okay. Broski. It's a weird berry. <laughs> Michael, is it gone or are you just He's like making a weird face? I don't and that's know. it's a it's a different it's, berry. It's different. It's unique. It has a menthol hit to it's it. Oh, does it? Is it, 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 it icy? Yeah. It's a low menthol. It's not very strong. Yeah, no. Mm. It's it's meant to lift the back end of the. Yeah, fine. Here, take it. Give it. I will gladly put my penis in your mouth. <laughs> Remember that acronym, okay, no. folks. Oh God, <laughs> no! <laughs> that you said low menthol. That's like fucking. That's like that's like fucking Nyquil. Okay, that is nasty. I'm sorry. I don't. I do not like that. Called it Broski. So I mean, that tastes like Nyquil. It smells smells like raspberry with menthol. It's a Scottish. It's a Scottish berry. That legitimately tastes like Nyquil. I'm sorry. To me, it nope. almost tastes like blueberries, leeches, oh and yeah, menthol. I think it's got leeches. Acai. Yeah. I actually no, have not acai. Something to drink. <laughs> well, no, have some of that no. fantastic fucking wine I brought. This here. Yes. Right there. It's, yeah, if you can get those it's two this studio, and you're asking if we have cups. <laughs> now, if you can get them apart, is a whole different conversation. <laughs> Mandy, just cheat and use the whole stack. God damn it. I'll just use this big one. Just tastes better. <laughs> That's not saying much. I'm glad you didn't pick up that one. I will say this that. Is yummy Moscato, by the way. Yeah, um, I don't think I'm going to bring that line. In, so. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Ken. I just said I brought them. I haven't tried them, so. Yeah, well, not we're your guinea pigs, so. Yay for huckleberries. <laughs> I'm sure the other ones are fine. I, I've tried a few of them, but I've done, I haven't tried them all. That so. one was a little rough. All right, so next grand adventure. Uh, have you tried the bobas yet? Nope. The fuck are those? Boba. Ooh! Boba, boba, I feel like boba. I've seen that packaging before. You might have, because it's all Crazy. over. Is it? Yeah. It's a... La- Jazzy, which is a lavender tea, and that one is a mango tea. Ooh, okay. lavender tea. Lavender tea. Lavender I tea. I want to smell the bottle. Yeah, except they're empty. No, they're not. No. Yeah, well, fuck it. I'll just try it from here then. There's enough. Actually, it's in this one if you want to taste it. That's that's actually really good. It's almost like caramely. Mm-hmm. That mango's in here. Mm-hmm. Oh, that one? Yep. Eh, whatever. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Michael. Hey, I, okay. I'm, we- I'm weird like that. Hey, I was Catholic once. I'm used to putting weird things in my mouth. I was also Catholic once, and I've never had that experience You're in church. You're also a girl. This is true, and I was never an altar servant. <laughs> once again, you're a girl. No, we had lots of altar girls in my church. So how's that feeling in your hand? 
I like that. It's got some weight to it too. It's nice. Can I smell them? Just the bottom. I don't. I don't like the the um, pod systems that are super light. They, they just this feel one you cheap. Feel, yeah. But the, that that's, does not feel cheap. That's to me. my biggest issue with a lot of pod systems is that they've all gone super ultra light. lightweight, and it's. Yeah, because I mean, you feel the difference. It's like six hundred pounds, Michael. That's because one, it has to be because it has to survive my fucking kitchen. So if it's not, if it can't actually take a forty-five, it's not coming in my kitchen. Well, Legend will take a forty-five. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's cool. indestructible. Bullshit. What is it? The What's legend? indestructible? The Aegis Legend. The Aegis Legend. It's okay, I need indestructible. <laughs> it's waterproof. <laughs> so... It's dustproof. It's uh... the Aegis Legend is actually very well known for being. For all intents and purposes, life proof. I'm Next not going to say it's indestructible because I have actually seen them broken. Well, I need as close as possible because my mods do not last with me. Oh, so. The legend's what you want them. You don't leave them on top of friends' cars and then your I ran the legend. No, that was my phone, <laughs> not. I read, a mod. Legend, I read the legend over it still works. But I break so. I break tanks like like nothing all the time. Well that There's you just get a tank like up there. this one that you has get a something steel that's got cage. a steel cage on it and you don't have to worry about There's it. There's little rubber things up Yeah, there. I, I have those it, it don't matter yeah, for me. Like, uh, like I drop money. shit like all the time, Rose. Yeah, like this. nonstop. Like I trip over my own feet. I drop you shit. Do you I'm play just, basketball? No, I've never played. Well, I shouldn't say I've never played a sport in my life. I did track and field and cheerleading in high school, and and we all know she dance plays with and balls shit. magnificently. <laughs> <sighs> and she smiles. I do not. Do, I have never played a ball sport in my life. No basketball. No baseball. No, no football. Balls, ball, no holes. ball balls. No golf. No nope. balls went in holes. No, not not that kind of. Nope. Nope, not in uh, not in that sense. <laughs> I don't. I have never had a ball in a hole either. I don't know what kind of weird shit you're doing, but all right, <laughs> just stuffing them in there. Like I don't know. Well, sometimes you got to fold it in half. That's okay. Ow. Well, ouch. You do what you do, Michael. I will not judge. <laughs> There's a reason why our local coxtrologist, our sister Cody, is afraid of me. All right. Mm-hmm. Why? I don't think she's afraid of you. She just knows better not to sleep with you. <laughs> not just that, but I mean, fuck, I wouldn't even sleep with me. I'm fucking psychotic. Oh my god. <laughs> Aren't we all, though? Aren't we? Everybody's all? a little psychotic. A little bit. How many of us have academic achievements to, psych- to being psychotic, though? We just don't want to be around Mandy when she sees red. So I kind of do. I don't think you want to. It's a scary situation. <laughs> I've, I've been divorced. I beat people up when I'm mad. So Worse has happened. I, I beat people up when I'm calm. Eh. Yeah, I, yeah, I've done that. So. Actually, Anywho. Actually, I can safely say I've never actually hit anyone out of anger. I have. I think the closest I ever got was when I choke slammed a boy through a steel locker for cutting my left ear off. Um, well, that's kind of warranted, so yeah, he deserved that, he deserved like 100%. That but I wasn't angry. Like, you don't cut somebody's ear off, and I'm surprised that you still have both of your ears. Well, they glued it back on. They glued it back on. <laughs> well, let me see the scar. Oh. I'll have to look closer later. But, yeah. but I mean, um, I want to give a shout out to Jackie um, and James for mm-hmm. bring, letting me come up to their party last week or a week couple before weeks a couple weeks About ago two three weeks ago yeah two three weeks ago I want to give a shout out to ideal vapor and they are now carrying smoked these salt mix which are very good yeah we need to get more of that shit <laughs> <laughs> that that vanilla custard needs to be like just i need that on a drip going right into my this one? arm <laughs> the vanilla custard yeah that's good here you can have it yay and that's like Isn't that's that saying stuff? a lot because I do not like vanilla no, that's stuff. Mine. Oh, okay. and no, no. that that's good. I'll buy one. For Can me. I smell right. it? The, but this the vanilla custard. Right here. Go for it. That's a good one. I love that one. Mm-hmm. Smoke these. Smoke these. Yes. Yeah, that funky. <laughs> after yeah. It's, it's, fun- it's vanilla. It's vanilla. It's vanilla. The custard part that. <laughs> Ugh. 
So what you been up to, Mandy? I got a new job. I start uh, my last day at my old job is next Wednesday, and then I start my new job next Monday. Cool. So I'm excited about that. And your new job does what? Uh, same thing, teaching. Okay. okay. Teaching Just, the chitlins. Yeah, the little, the little, little tiny munchkins. Better than you and me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Everybody says that, but like, I love it. Like, I absolutely love it's it. Not- no, here's they the thing. Are your, not your children. It's easy. Oh I, yeah, I, I almost prefer kids to adults. Just absolutely, just because if I mentally scar a child, they will eventually heal. True. If, if I mentally scar an adult, I'll go to jail and be on a list. True. Yeah. We don't. We don't need but to do that. It but, depends on the age of the child. Yeah. True. I mean, you're talking teenagers. You can keep them. Yeah, yeah, they, no, no, no. At those point, it's like no. middle school and above. You could not um, see. And one of my favorite keep comedians farther actually away from had a point. You know, you know, when they're when they're like little babies and like two, three years old. Well, maybe not two because now they've started to talk. But <laughs> and for the next seventeen Michael, years, they won't shut stop. Up, yeah. They were all started talking at like seven or nine months somewhere. Yeah. Like a lot and, of and my little stopped, ones talk, and wow. I work with one year olds mostly, and they. They start talking. It's really cute because they'll just go up to me and be like, Mundy, 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 Mundy. And I'm like, oh, you guys are so freaking cute. I love you. They come up to me in the morning and they give me hugs and they make me feel good. And I'm like, oh, I love you guys. You're so freaking cute. And then they go home at the end of the day when I've had enough of them. (laughs) And and that's good. You know, like. That's when you just make sure you give them all really. And then I have to deal with my two at home. And then I'm like, fuck. You guys. <laughs> I had a rough day at school. <laughs> you guys, come on. Okay, kids, we're going over to Rosen Hammers. You can play with their kids. <laughs> oh, God. Sometimes that's worse. Because then they. Text, last then night. Text. Last night, we <laughs> were. Devils. Oh, my God. We were all sitting around the fire at my house with all the kids, like all three of them, like even the neighbor boy, and then my two and her two. And they're all running around in the fucking dark. We're up till midnight, and they're still going. And they're screaming and yelling and just like, I'm like, oh my God, how are you guys still awake? Like, I'm barely awake. <laughs> like, why? what is happening? That's because they got energy that comes it, out it, of nowhere. It's simple. Well, it, Tax you, season. When they all get together, they just like act wild. Like today, like, Amriel and Bronson were really chill, like hanging out on the couch. And my kids can be that way at home too. But like the second you get them together... Oh my god, it's like the whole world is exploded. Yeah, that's the way it goes. They destroyed goes. my fucking house. Mm. It was great. Good times. They'll do that. They'll do that. Yes. It's like when well, you, they kept when you going get a child, in and out. They're tiny, they're small, they're cute, they're unemployed, so they're annoying. But, you know, and then they get to that teenage year, and then they're no longer tiny, small, and They're no longer cute. human. Yeah. No. They're no yeah. longer human. No, <laughs> they're, they're monsters at that point. I don't know. I'm not there yet. <laughs> we'll see. It'll be uh-huh. fun. Imagine. Oh, God. Let's not. Well, I got. You got girls, four years, so. Four and a, uh, four years and. You got girls. Yours turn on human at 12. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm super excited about it. Hey, Let I me just tell you. lots of boys to be just as bitchy. Well, boys you can get rid of, though. You can just tell them to get the hell out of the house and they can go take care of themselves. But girls you can't do that with. No. Nope. No. But it's okay. We'll figure it out. I'm not too concerned right now. <laughs> I, no. got, I got some time yet. That's when you just call Uncle Mike and he'll provide sniper support. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. But yeah, no, I've just been doing my thing and then the kids and all that stuff. But I'm excited about my new job, though, because I get full benefits and cool. everything like that. So it'll be good for me and the kids. And they bus to Taylor's school. So if she comes with me in the morning, then they're able to get her to school and I don't have to worry about that stuff. So well, kudos to you because I couldn't deal with kids. I love it. I love it. That's why I stopped at two. <laughs> Uh, well, I love kids too. I step at two. I don't want any more. Like I deal with enough kids on a daily basis that I definitely do not I need to, any more at my house. <laughs> I get to babysit nine alcoholic drug addicts every day, and that's also why I don't really babysit that much too. Because like I deal with kids like literally twenty four seven. So like it's like work, kids, home, kids, work, kids, home, kids, and then I don't get like much of a break until you know my ex husband takes them, and then I just want. 
no kids. <laughs> like, none. Now it's time for mom to play. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what it is. So anytime I get a break away from kids, I don't babysit. Like, I have parents come up to me all the time at work, and they're like, do you babysit? And I, I have to, I'm like, nope, I don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is This is enough for me. <laughs> I'm sure there's other people who would like to make more money off of that, but I'm good. There's only, like... There's one child right now who I think I would babysit just because, like, I'm leaving my job now and I will miss this child very particularly because he's very attached to me. He's super cute and adorable. And he's the one that always says, Mendy, Mendy, Mendy. And I'll miss him a lot. So I'll miss all of the kids, but I'll, I'll very much miss him. And so, you know, I might babysit him a couple of times. <laughs> But, but yeah, that's about it. That's more for nostalgia, though. That's just to get yeah. your, you know, the memories I'm definitely going to add his and... mom on Facebook and check out the little pictures of the little dude as he grows a little bit because he's so stinking cute. He's like the he's like the little boy that like I wish I could have if I, if I ever did want a little boy or want to have a little boy, he would be the little boy that the little I would boy want. You want. It's like look, even though he's a little. <laughs> like, I don't know. I've been telling Rose this all the time. Like, I don't know what it is, but I just have like a thing for the naughty kids. Like, what, the naughty ones are like always my favorite. I don't know what it is. It's a bad boy syndrome. I don't I know what say, it that's is. That's never gone away. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. I just have a thing for the naughty kids. Like, this kid bites his friends, and, like pushes them and hits them. But like, it's Rob and Johnny. <laughs> yeah. You see, it never went away. You just went to a different age group. Wow. <laughs> this is messed up. It's real messed up. We're getting real psychological here. And I'm, not, I'm not sure I like it. I'm not wrong, though, am I? I'm not sure I no, like it. Not. It's kind of fucked up, Michael. It's kind of fucked up. <laughs> Like, see, the thing was, you just you just went with what you were used to. <laughs> just a smaller version. <laughs> That's messed up. So messed up. <laughs> Whatever. Moving on. <laughs> it's a little too weird for me now. But, uh, no. Be all now serious. Y'all see why I've been single for over a year? Be <laughs> all serious, is, though. But we need, uh, as far as the vape laws around this country, we need to adapt what New Eng- uh, England and uh, Australia and New Zealand are doing. So What are they doing? Well, England is so pro- is so promoting vaping that they're even putting vape shops in hospitals. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what they're doing instead of trying to do like a per milliliter bullshit tax or a device tax or shit like that, it's simply the same tax they apply to tobacco products. They're applying to vaping. Yes. Yeah. Why and, not do that? It's and, not. It's what. It's not double tax. Is what we're saying. It's just yeah. a single tax. It's just like one all blanket tax. It's like if you were. It's like the pan ultimate dream in the United States would be one flat tax, tax for, for everybody. everything. Yeah, like you know, twenty percent tax on everybody for every little thing. Pretty much, yeah. I'm talking like your income taxes and shit. Yeah, but uh, no, but no, but ser- in all seriously, I mean, New e- England's got the best system for vaping right now. Mm-hmm. So, and, and honestly, you're right. But Australia's doing a lot of weird shit with being able to buy it online. True, they are. And a lot of the vaping industry is digital. Yes. Uh, the vast majority of it does not go through brick and mortars because, one, it's expensive, and two... But the, to be honest with you, the digital market is killing the vaping industry. Well, the digital market is that... killing a lot of things. Yeah. Well, it's just... It's like with everything, well, though, because it's just like convenience. Like for a everything. brick and mortar, they will charge you probably around twenty five to thirty dollars for a hundred mil. Right. Okay. Digital, you're looking at about twenty. So it's cheaper right. and it's more convenient. Right. So of course, why why wouldn't? But you, you gotta know? wait for it. Well, it's still more convenient if you're running low on juice. You would hop online and you buy more. Yeah, like Amazon. Like with Amazon, yeah. Like I just shop go, then. that's how I do everything. Pretty much, <laughs> so bad. I'm just so lazy. Like I don't even like go shopping in a store anymore. Like I order my groceries online and then I go to the pickup and have them put them in my car for me because I don't want to take my two monsters into a fucking store. But if you, so it, it may be $20, but you still got to pay for that shipping. So you're still yeah. looking at the same price as a brick and mortar. So. I suppose. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's But I don't have to take my killing, monsters anywhere. No. Right. 
But at the same time, brick and mortar stores are 18 or older, so you can't take them in there anyways. No, I can. You're not supposed to. I, whatever. I took Taylor and Madison into... Oh, most owners, if the kids are you know, and they're with the parents, they don't really say too much. You just don't yeah. come up to the counter. It's like and... taking them into a liquor store. Same thing. As long as they're your kids, they don't really give uh, a shit. Let's not discuss liquor stores in Wisconsin just because our <laughs> our, our drinking laws are fucked up. True. No, I get it because you can literally bring your kids into a bar and drink with your kid yep. in the your fucking bar. Your kids can drink. Yeah, with you. Yeah, it's fucked up. But so it nine. is what it is. No. No, it's no, till you turn legal, t- until you turn 18 and you are technically your own adult. At that point, you cannot drink until you turn 21. Yeah. So between the ages of 18 and 21, you cannot, unless, unless you're married. Unless you're married. Unless you're married. If your spouse is over Shouldn't 21. Marry. Shouldn't matter. But, but yeah, if you're 18 and you're married and your hu- husband or the wife is, is 21, 21, you can. You can drink. But. Uh, but between the ages of 18 and 21, you cannot drink if you are not married. But any any age between that and 18, your parents can bring you into a bar and set you down and buy you a beer. Unless you're in the military, in which case they will give you a howitzer and as much alcohol as you can drink. Yes. That's yeah. horrible. Unless you go to a private bar. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's when you just stay on base. It's cheaper. Yeah. You can do anything you want on base, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Just send the FNG on the beer run. Move on. Pretty much. The what? The FNG. Fucking new guy. Yeah. yeah. Seriously, never heard that term? <laughs> I have, but you just said it really fast, and I thought you said something else. Oh. Well, he is the peon, so I mean, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I've sent my FNG over to festival for me on more than a few occasions. It took him forever to find something, so it's like, fuck it, I'll go do it myself. Unless he comes back with the wrong shit then, too. So, I mean... Twice he's done it. And it, it it was easy shit. It's like, okay, I need brown sugar. Not light, not dark, not whatever special brand you find in whatever special aisle. Just brown sugar. That's it. Baking aisle. Exactly. Yeah. Baking aisle nine festival straight across, straight down, three sections to the left, dead center in the aisle. This is the name of it. This is the color of it. Here's the fucking drawing of it. I will send you a fucking picture of it on your goddamn phone. Get it. You keep Cut. talking about festival and it really makes me want their sushi. <laughs> so good. No, uh, festival like sushi is so better. good. I like Woodman's. Yeah. You won't get me to eat sushi, sorry. So <laughs> he comes back oh, with flour. What a dumbass. Brown flour? <laughs> no, just straight all-purpose flour. And I'm like... <laughs> I get 50-pound bags of regular flour. I sent you for brown sugar. <laughs> That's not what I asked for. Well, I just thought, which was your first problem? I told you what I wanted. I told you where to go. I gave you written instructions on where to get it, how much it was, what it looked like, and everything else. The only thing I didn't do was hold you by your dick to get you there. <laughs> <laughs> Which, if you'd like to do that, I can manage it. It'll look funny, but honestly, I don't fucking care because it's Madison. Just get a dick leash and, you know, put it through the hole and then you're good. Like, what? nobody has to see the wang. It's just... Oh, no, they will. It's embarrassing. Oh, okay. And also illegal, but <laughs> let's not go there. <laughs> It's Madison. I don't give a fuck. Oh. Mike would put a choker on it, so. <laughs> He's not wrong. It's like, you see, the faster you move through here, the faster we get what I need to get. Come on, move along. But it hurts. Do you see me caring? <laughs> it's, oh, my it's, it's really is that simple. All you have to do is follow instructions. It's You don't need to think. You don't need to do anything. Just do what I told you. That's it. That's all you need to do. True. And then you fuck up. <laughs> so what do you feel I mean um, all the shit that's going on now Darwin is right God's a moron <laughs> <laughs> sorry Darwin Darwin was wrong I just think it's ridiculous I see this stuff pop up on Facebook all the time and I just roll my eyes and I'm like People are so, like, uneducated about things. Like, they don't even... They just think that everything they read is true. And then they post about it. And they're like, see? 
we told you all this all these chemicals are bad for i'm like you don't even know like you have done zero research that if you honestly don't know what's in you just shared an article on the toxicity of dihydrogen monoxide think about that water yeah and how it's toxic if you breathe it in and if you freeze it it expands and can destroy concrete and and i I'm, i'm just like really It's like, I told these folks about it. I haven't said it on air yet, but my roommate slash head chef recently had the experience of me being amongst normal people. It didn't end well. Uh, We took his mom out for lunch, and she brought her best friend and her husband along with her. It didn't end well, because her best friend is a fucking moron. (laughs) I'm sorry, but what's this word next to cheese? G-O-R-G-O-N-Z-O-L-A. And she literally sat there and spelled it out. And I'm just like, you have a smartphone on you and you couldn't look it up? Wow. Gorgonzola. It's gorgonzola cheese. What is it? It's a type of blue cheese. I don't like blue cheese. It's it's in the family, but it doesn't taste like blue cheese. I still don't like blue cheese. Congratulations. Then don't fucking get it. it. What's white meat chicken? White meat chicken. Oh my god! It's just like the the dumb acidity of people. Uh huh. I, 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 and they're on the road too. That's what sucks. Scary <laughs> fucking. They've road, had man. children. That's what <laughs> sucks. Yeah, that's scary. Oh. I don't like world. going out to places where the prices aren't on the menus. It's like it's right there. It's the nine next to the dollar sign. Wow. Oh. Well, do I go up to the counter? We're at a fine dining restaurant on the Capitol Square. No. That Will and I had to pull a couple of strings to get a reservation to. <sighs> I was with this woman for five hours, folks. Have fun with that. <sighs> I lasted four and a half. I kept my mouth shut for four and a half. I was, I was contrite. I was so. What short did you, What finally broke you? It didn't break me, but it was just kind of a. <laughs> I hear that. Well, can't they just, like, not sell guns anymore or make guns anymore? And I'm like, oh. <laughs> so what did you say? No, they cannot stop a multi-trillion dollar industry that's funding so much shit in the world. Well, they're trying to stop in the vaping industry. That's a billion dollar bi- industry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, guns is what they need to stop the vaping industry, so... <sighs> Unfortunately, I mean, if all we need to do is everybody just needs to buy a ten dollar noisy cricket, and we got hand grenades for days. True, <laughs> true. But it's like I, I'm just, and she's there, and she's trying to debate politics at lunch. What's wrong? And I'm doing everything I can not to say anything. <laughs> I think Donald Trump is a great Democrat. Okay. Wow! Oh my god. Wow. Don't breathe. Let the sickness in your head <laughs> die with you. Oh my <laughs> she has Somebody. four kids and two grandkids. Somebody wow. help. Wow. And at this point, my answers have now stopped being short, straight, to the point. They are now borderline argumentative. Have, yeah. Just because... I can't handle this much stupid all in one, all at once because normally I have a three foot concrete wall between me and this kind of stupid. <laughs> and even in the car, I, I apologize to Will. It's like, look, I'm sorry. I know I was an ass. He's like, damn straight you were. It's like, <laughs> I can't help it. It's stupid. See, and this is it, why I work with children because they have an excuse on oh, yeah, they, how they yeah, are they, stupid. They, they, that's true. That's yeah, very they true. They inherited it. <laughs> <laughs> there are excuses innocent. they're innocent and they don't know any better innocent until <laughs> so, they turn about 12 it's okay, if, <laughs> it's okay if stupid shit falls outside out of their mouth every once in a while they're innocent until they realize xhamster.com is not the amazon for pets uh, i don't do adults very well <laughs> it's just oh i i can't 
I really can't deal with that much stupid all at once. <laughs> I have a limit. I, I just wish people would fucking do some research every once in a while. Like the the, the number one thing I see about vaping is that you don't know what's in that shit. Yeah, we do. do yes. Like <laughs> propylene glycol, oh, vegetable glycerin, nicotine, nicotine and or CBD, RCB or flavoring, and FDA approved flavorings. It's it's all not that hard. Four people. of these ingredients are already approved by the FDA. We would not be able to have any of the shit on the market if you did not know what was in it. Like yeah. literally, like it's really not that hard to figure right, out. You want to know? Well, how granted, fu- there are some. Bad juices out there. There are bad if juices from far just between. reputable makers. Research your cigarettes and tell me what's in all. There's 7,000 chemicals yeah, in a cigarette. Yeah, it's yeah, bad. Well, I want a list. It's bad. It's like, oh, well, I found carcinogens in my vape juice. It's like, uh, for one, that one study was already discredited by themselves. Two, any carcinogens they found was because they lit the damn thing on fire Three, the carcinogens you found were so minuscule, you actually have a greater chance of getting cancer breathing in the off gas from a deep fryer in McDonald's. Or literally just walking around in New York City. Like, <laughs> honestly, or like, Mexico City, actually. it's so bad. Like, just go to any metropolitan yeah, area most and the- breathe in the air. Go to fucking L.A. Breathe in that smog, people. Just do it. Because most of the testing they did for the high carcinogens... Is where uh, levels of wattage that no one ever would vape at. No. Yeah, they're doing it like six, seven, eight, a thousand watts. Right. I don't know anybody who vapes over a hundred. And ever. they're letting it, and they're letting the, all the cotton burn away too, yeah. which is adding to it. So yeah, I mean, they literally just tape down the that. button and go. Yeah. What's well, like right. the average vo- wattage for the 60 average vape? Uh, actually, sixty to about ninety. Usually. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Because you have. Uh, I don't know tanks. anybody who vapes over a hundred. Like you just got fucking kill your throat doing that. Oh, of course you do. A <laughs> no. 105 on his that's fucking right. battery. Now, here's you the thing. That, that's not necessarily before. the mm-hmm. power of the hit itself that has to do with having to put that amount of power through, through the coils. Yeah. That much metal. It's like I could put a I could build a single coil, just one single piece of t- of stainless steel that I would need that much power to get These even- coils won't operate below 60. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I don't ever vape below sixty anyway, unless my freaking coil. <laughs> well, this one, I'm like thirty on my freaking. This is twenty burnt. Yeah. So. Yeah, I usually vape at like sixty, sixty-five. Yeah. Typically. Yeah, my pods at twenty, my mods at one hundred five. Usually, anywhere between <laughs> sixty and seventy is where I usually go, unless my freaking coil is burnt and I have to turn it down because I haven't gotten new ones yet. Because I'm a lazy bitch and I don't get out much. <laughs> I like to stay in my house and do nothing. <laughs> you have sex trophies. There's a reason for that. <laughs> don't have sex trophies. They're children. They're sex trophies. Oh, so, well, yeah, that's, that's true. I get they, Yeah, they yeah are. sure. You even got the little certificate that says, congratulations, you got laid once and here's your mistake. <laughs> that's not my mistake. Uh, she's got two certificates. Do you remember though. that joke about the lady that walks in through Walmart and the greeter goes, oh, ma'am, are those twins? Yep. No. I, yep. I actually remember that. They're it, not twins. What would make you say that? Oh. I can't believe someone how... would have slept with you twice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that's bad. And ladies and gentlemen, this it's is Walmart. Why I no longer work customer service. The people of Walmart. Any more samples? Welcome to Walmart. Nope. nope. And it's <laughs> it really is that simple. It's like I got to meet a couple of the neighbors that are upstairs in the apartments above my restaurant, and they love my roommate. They love him to death. He is a fantastic people person. I am not. <laughs> I I actually timed myself out there for three minutes. And that's like, okay, folks, if you don't mind, uh, enjoy the samples. I do have to get back to the kitchen and keep cooking. They're like, oh, just come out here and hang with us. It's like, you don't want me to do that. Yeah, that, no. Aw. Hey, like, Hammer. It has nothing to... Hey, what's up, bitches? He's in the He's chat room. He's in the chat room. He's in the chat room. Da, 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 da. You missed the pod. <laughs> that I'm buying from him. It's Somebody nice. Did. I want one, but I'm and you got a clip 
Yeah, it is. It's very clean down here, Gary. You yeah. come home to a very nice, clean studio. Yeah, your missus went OCD on the studio. Um, I'm not even going to attempt to find... She's even got a candle burning down here. It smells so nice. I'm not even going to attempt to find Hunted anything tobacco. anymore down here, dude. Sorry, man. <laughs> yeah, it's totally unorganized for you now. <laughs> no, it actually is fucking organized. <laughs> It's beautiful. Rose, I- I'm sure you've known this in the 20 some odd years you've been married to Hammer, right? 15. 15, okay. You know that there's two different methods of organization. There's the man, the male organization, which is just throw shit. Mess. In diff- which is not organization. It's a clean mess is what I call it. That's how my No, no it's we throw shit in mess. certain areas. It's like this shit is mostly for my tools. Yes, it's disorganized, <laughs> but I know that's all my tool shit. That shit's for my wallets. And that pile over there, I realize that's my dirty laundry that's sitting next to the hamper it should all be in. And I'm sorry. It's also next to the clean pile of laundry that hasn't no, been folded there's, yet. There's certain levels of clean for guys, too, you know. No! <laughs> it's either clean or dirty. There's no in between. No, there's in between with that guys. That is, I've worn it once and it doesn't smell bad. So no, I'm going to put it back. Turn around and just, yeah, bro, hey, this, hey, way. this is coming from y'all. And I know all of y'all don't have like 10 pairs of bras, okay? So don't even fucking try me on No. That. They don't come in pairs. It's, <laughs> it's a bra. It's a bra. It's one singular bra. Over the shoulder boulder holders. Whatever the fuck you want to call them. But I actually, I have like I don't, five different bras. I don't have Five ten. or six. Something like that. So you have to five. repeat throughout the week, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. But that's different from no, a bra. It's no different than a shirt. No, it's a little different. No, it's not. It's a piece of cloth that's highly absorbent that's holding against your skin that sweats. I, my boobs do not sweat that much. I'm Mine sorry. Sweat a lot. I, I don't sweat that much. Often. I don't. Also, my tits aren't like out to here either. So, <laughs> like, yeah, yours are Victoria's Secret, not NASA grade. We understand that. They're not Victoria's Secret grade either. I fucking buy all my bras at Walmart. <laughs> but your ass is all Carhartt. We know that. Oh yeah, I know. Like, you don't need no fix the flat over here. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, you guys are horrible. Thank you. <laughs> it is what it is. No, like, we understand this. That's this why, is why I love the show. <laughs> don't need any like, like I said, many different levels. Now, uh, understandably, it's like my work jeans. I have four pairs of work jeans, mind you. I work six days a week. Now, two of my work hey, jeans Johnny. are elsewise low damage on my clothes so i will rewear those jeans so you need two more pairs of jeans michael uh, uh, no i will buy more jeans when i wear out the two out of the four pairs that i have that have holes in you them. are technically not supposed to wash your jeans as much though like that's yeah. a thing because but you'll wear out the working denim. with food and grease ugh. yeah no that's different that's yeah. but you also have to wash that's gross you also have to understand i'm also in intimate contact with an epic fuck ton of bleach and sanitizer all day oh yeah so in point of fact my get the grease smell out of your i have clothes. to bleach shit every day too what my the fuck do i care about the smell i'm in the kitchen no one smells me but I still shower. I throw on clean shirts. I don't wear underwear, so eat a dick. And I don't either. It's clean fine. socks. So thank you for that image. <laughs> underwear is bullshit. I'm sorry. Like I fucking Amen. hate the shit. I like underwear. I hate underwear. I don't eat anything riding up my ass except a dick. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> that's uncomfortable. Going, give me the bleach. Can't erase images in my mind. <laughs> Coddling themselves. <laughs> I think Michael's writing that one down. Great. <laughs> no, no, no. I was actually writing out down a new cookie recipe. <laughs> Whoa! You need to make one that's brown with skid marks on it. <laughs> oh, no, oh, God. Yeah, it was actually going to be a painted chocolate drizzle. Oh, my God. I can't believe that fell out of my mouth. You can actually go. You can go well, now. For once, it wasn't something going Listen. in. I read this article. You can go and get a mold of your asshole and yeah. then make them into chocolates and give them to people. Yeah. Yeah. And Here. and you can also buy a bag and or box of dicks. Yep. And send them to people. Who's yes. box of dicks? Or a bag like, of dicks. Like Who's the uh, dicks? disgruntled veterans Facebook group after they got shut down. They all went in on a gigantic box of billions of dicks. Didn't we? Like, we found, we were at Shockwave and we found a bunch of gummy dicks. We were going to yeah. bring you guys back some and we didn't. Or something. 
I'd be yeah. in on that. It was fun. I mean, for Hammer, it'd mostly be life size for I him, d- but I, hey. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I did buy Michael Grow Your Own Girlfriend. Oh, yeah, that's right. Grow Girlfriend. Yeah, she started bitching like the last three, so I just threw her out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. You but win yeah. that bet? What's the date? September 11th. Of course I'm winning. That's 20 bucks per member of Bad Habits Network. You think I'm going to lose that bet? I was not a part of this bet, so I'm it not paying shit. It was you and Gary. <laughs> the and I'm I not a part of The wording of the bet was $20 per member of Bad Habits. I don't care how y'all get the money. I'm winning the bet. What bet is this? No relationships for one year. From and September 11th of last year to September 11th of this goes, year. I said, my, or I said he won't last three months. And Gary goes, well, I'll give him six months. So my bet was with Gary, not with you. Congratulations. That's between you and your husband to settle up, and I've beaten you both, so suck it. And I ain't paying you $20. It's not September yet, though. I never agreed to it. Yeah. 24 more days. <laughs> my cousin's going to go around humping everything. Why? I'm just building up our arm strength. <laughs> wow. Like Popeye? Eats my spinach. Is still laughing in his head. I can see it. Ooh, spinach. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, I mean, oh, seriously, goodness. how the fuck do you think I got shoulders like this? We have no special equipment in my kitchen for baking. You I have to do it all in hand. Very broad shoulders, in my opinion. <laughs> you haven't seen me bake something yet. When I have to roll a dough out by hand for bread, <sighs> trust me, I can bench pr- probably north of two fifty easily right now. Get it. Get swole, Michael. <laughs> Pump iron. I don't need to. I All I have to do is like, oh, here's this giant steel bowl that has 85 pounds of bread in it. it. I'll lift it one-handed. Mm. Exciting. Yeah. And the great part is a lot of this strength training came from my very first restaurant that had, well, technically it was my third restaurant with my head chef, who was an angry drug-addicted dyke. <laughs> okay. Her so, own, she sounds her like own, a fun Her trick. own words, in point of fact. And the great part was she was amazingly abusive. Punched me, kicked me all day, every day. Would text me at 3 a.m. drunk, calling me every fucking name in the known universe. Sounds like a fun bitch. Well, here's the great wow. part. Our kitchen was easily as physical. So I would have to take five gallons of boiling hot soup in, with a six-inch handle on the pan and turn it. To dump it into a one-gallon container that used to hold pickles. Now, you've worked in bars. You know how big those jars are. Yeah, I have not, not worked in they're bars. They're not very big. All right. The hole is about that big. Yeah. Like I would be It's a like fresh... a mayonnaise jar b- hole. Basically. They probably won't hire me as a bartender because I've never done it. <laughs> Nobody wants to train a new bartender. <laughs> no shit. I don't. I don't want to break in any new bartenders. They're annoying to break in because then I have to bribe them and feed them. It's like, I've already got the ones at my bar on my side. They like me. I don't know why. I do know why. It's because I bake and they didn't know I could bake. And then I put a giant fucking platter on them. They're like, oh my God, he can bake. We don't have to put up with Will's shit. Yeah, I I would like to try those. uh... I got the Snickerdoodles upstairs. Not the Snickerdoodles, the uh, other ones. Oh, those ones were really good. No, the fire. Oh, the uh, fireball cream puffs? Yeah. Uh, Next cookout we do, I'll I'll make sure I have some. Okay. Do it. Do it. Do it. I mean, if we had fireball here in the house, I could make it. Just because she had. I wish we had some fireball. I'll take a shot. Rose, I'm assuming you have flour, eggs, butter, and water, right? A little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt. All right, I can do it by hand. Do it. Do it. But it's fucking, it's a basic pad of shoe. It's easy. Yeah, I, yes, Hammer, I know it's not midnight sushi. <laughs> Suck it, okay? I told him it was okay. <laughs> We're discussing flavors here. Yeah. I mean, come on, it's something you put in your mouth. And these are, little, and these are little creamy balls that go in your mouth. Sweet. Something I know a lot about. I'm sorry. Wow, Michael. <sighs> Mandy, too. <laughs> we tasted all the juices, Hammer. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah the one line I brought in, we're f- we dumped that one. So, <laughs> which one did we? What the nasty line? Oh yeah, no, that was interesting. <laughs> Not my favorite. Yeah, as Johnny put it, uh, yeah, those snickerdoodles, yo. Because uh, for Blown Pistons a couple days ago, or what was that, Tuesday, I think? or No, Monday, we did Blown Pistons. I had fresh snickerdoodles waiting for those fuckers. Because I knew Johnny would be late. Because it's Johnny. No, not Johnny. Speaking of which, noon tomorrow, Johnny, be fucking on time this time. Damn it. Uh, actually, for you, I'll start the show at 11. We might have to do a picnic thing at Gary's work. Sure. Okay. We'll see what happens. Llamas. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. So what was your favorite juice out of all the decent ones, anyway? Let's see. Favorite juice out of all of them? The first one, right, Mandy? The, the Strawberry. The, the Merge. Candy. The Merge. Yeah, I'd have to say... It's a toss up between the strawberry kiwi and the strawberry cotton candy. This one. I liked yeah. the this one. Melon. No, one. I liked that one, but I think I I really liked the melon lime punch. Melon lime honestly, because it tasted a lot like a limeade, and it was really really yummy. It's different from a lot of the other stuff that I yeah. normally vape, and so, but I really liked it. But I did like the original the cotton. Yeah. That one's a cotton candy. Yeah. That one was good. Um, this the other cotton candy was a little meh yeah. to me. Like it was all right. Like it didn't pack a huge punch. And what's the other one? Oh, the strawberry watermelon was good too. Okay. Strawberry watermelon was good too. But watermelon. I would say that. Watermelon. Mm-hmm. And of course the boba line. So, yeah, that boba yo. Boba boba. Now, can they come up with a fet juice? A what? A fet juice? A fet juice? Oh no, boba fet. No, I don't know about that. Well, <laughs> I take that back. There is a fet juice from uh, boba. No, not from boba. It's Russian. Well, they got a whole Star Wars line over in Russia. Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> that's awesome. And go figure, they go dark side with it. Yes, they did. <laughs> Actually, I got one that's called Dark Side. It's got Vader on it. He wasn't a bad guy. I mean, he was actually a really good, reasonable guy. He choked out a bitch that was arguing with him in the middle of a board meeting. Wow. He was just pissed off. I mean, come on. You rag on a guy's religion long enough, it's like, you know what? Fuck it. Snap. Right, exactly. And you know what? When his boss said, hey, dude, ease up, he did. He let the guy live. <laughs> And then later on, he's like, hey, can you do that thing again, only a little harder? I like it when he picked up the fucking, what's the really bad guy, the emperor or whatever. Palpatine. Palpatine. Yeah. And Papalactine. just picked him up and whipped him down that fucking electrical yep. shaft thing. Mm-hmm. I don't think I know what you're talking about, but okay. Have you ever seen any Star Wars? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Now Episode I, uh, 6, now Return I know of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi, was, Jedi yeah. I, I, I uh, spaced out and lost track of the Star Wars conversation. <laughs> It, it go happen. woo! Where am I? I <laughs> oh, I, I okay. <laughs> it might be. Oh, I'm Let's... gonna give a shout out to Jeff for his Odin. It's very good. So, I want to try that shit. We need that shit in studio ASAP. And why we don't have it yet? I'm blaming Hammer. <laughs> Actually, fuck it. I'm blaming I'm blaming Gremlin on that one. He hasn't been in the studio in a fucking minute. I'm blaming him. Like how long? <laughs> like four months. I don't know anymore. I've actually lost track. That's how long it's been. Yeah, I thought he now, dropped off the face of the earth, to be honest with you. No, he, he hasn't yet. He, he got married and has six boys. It's a lot of kids. Well, I yeah. feel sorry for him. Four are his and two are his. I know. Two I feel sorry so. for Gremlin. So. Yeah, it's like yeah, all the love in the world to that man, but I'm still blaming him entirely because I can and I love him. Eat a dick and thanks for coming out. <laughs> we should have said something. I brought out and I got it in the shop. I was unaware there was even a new juice from Hasley. Yeah, it's it's, it's Fantology. It's called uh, Olden. Yeah, yeah, you've said that three times now, and mm-hmm. I was unaware of it because no one What's fucking told me. What's the flavor profile, Matt? It's a cotton candy berry something. I forget what berry, though. I just heard a universal sploosh from that half of the table. <laughs> <laughs> no splooching. I didn't. I, I mean, cotton candy's not necessarily my thing. It's not like, oh, my God. It, 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 Olden is actually very good. Is it? Yes. Okay. 
So, yeah, it's a good thing. So, folks, massive shout-outs to all of our sponsors. Resurrection Vapor, Taffy, well, not Taffy, but the owners of Taffy, James and Jackie Greer at Ideal Vapor, the great, grand, and gloriously handsome, the wonderfully bearded Ken Andrews. (laughs) Beautiful beard. It used to be a lot longer. (laughs) I know, you did trim it up. It does look nice, though. Yeah, it's well, you know, you don't need an epic long beard. You don't need to go Gandalf with that. I liked shit. the Gandalf look. I liked, so I did I. I dug it. I dug like it. when I worked in the freezer and it was like down to just below my chest line, I was happy. I got nice and warm. Just park it into my coat, and I don't get no wind there. The it's thing great. is, it's like I don't care if dudes. Have it was like a scarf. Fucking clean it and trim it and oil it. Like yeah. ew. Take care of your shit. It's yeah, like take care else. of it. Right. Just take care of it. It's like folks with their hair and they grow dreadlocks. Right. It's like, Ugh. it's like I understand y'all think it's a style and great on you, <laughs> but. <laughs> dreadlocks is disgusting. Oh, my Don't even get me started. It's my personal opinion, and it's not a race thing. It's universal. I think dreadlocks are fucking ew. I, I, I don't mind. I don't mind. It. I don't mind if they keep them clean. Yeah. How but when they start. Keep their redness clean? No, there there are guys out there who do keep it clean. Yeah. But there are people out there that put that walk around lint and, and everything else. As long as you don't them. smell like patchouli all the time, <laughs> like I'm good. Like, like you could be a hippie and not smell like patchouli all the time. Like but it's fine. That'd be they fantastic. Like or not smell like Sean all the time. That'd be fantastic too. I don't know what I don't know what Sean smells like. The man like. smells like weed within a three mile radius. <laughs> no, he doesn't. I know the man smokes a lot, but he does not smell like weed all of the time. Every time I've met him so far, no, <laughs> no. I actually know at the last cookout he didn't. No, he didn't. I've had a friends I've hugged. It's like, oh my god, you smell good. Yeah, That's I know. You've I was had, baking hugged at me the time. a lot lately. I have like, a very, you smell I have a very sensitive mouth, so any bad smells complete fucking turn off. Mm-hmm. So, what do you think of the almost eternal smell of bleach on a person? Ew. <laughs> Sweet, <laughs> I'm immune. Fucking bad breath or fucking body funk? Yeah, but like, body funk. Friend, yeah, body funk. I have is a bad. friend who likes to smell her husband's underarms after he's like sweated or something. I'm like, oh. <sighs> But maybe it's maybe it's just like the pheromones no. that she's getting That's on the about. Boba juice. <laughs> just get all that pheromones like get me darn out, mm, man. In theory, you're supposed oh. to get a pretty decent amount of testosterone out, off of those pheromones. Yeah. Gross. That man smell. Fucking take a shower. It's a man it's smell. smell. Man smell. <laughs> like sweaty ball. That's not a man smell. It's fucking. <laughs> 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 what, you don't want to try Chef's Chocolate Salty Balls? Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Fucking South Park. That's an old throwback, man. Let's Fuck. roll them and dip them and put them in your mouth. Oh, my God. In your mouth and suck them. <laughs> exactly. That's an old throwback. That is old as hell. But you don't take a bite of them. You just suck them. <laughs> Unless you're me, in which case, bite all you want. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Just nibble a little bit. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> Do whatever you want. So I just want to give a shout out to my shops real quick. Uh, Wiley Vape down in Texas. Hill, um, T3 Vapor. Um, East, East Store in South Africa. Mm-hmm. Um, wow. Yeah. Who do you have in New Zealand? That would have been Christine. Would have? Would have. They went out of business. Oh, I'm sorry. So, but I've got, I still got the uh, Cloud Comp team over there, so. Well, that's good. So. So you got somebody. Right. Still have anybody in Brazil? Not yet. Oh, I thought you had someone in South America. No. Working on them still. How about Russia? Working on them. Okay. And I've got a couple in Ireland I'm working with, and. uh, Sweet. One in France I'm starting to get into. Cool. You're okay, so let over. me talk to the Irish guys. Believe me, I can speak alcoholic wonderfully. <laughs> Same. Oh, and I'm Ger- one in Germany now, too. I can speak angry just fine. Ooh, any Italians? Uh, there's a shop that I'm in contact with. He hasn't really just responded back I yet, I love though. my husband, but I told him if we ever went to Italy, I would just be... I would dehydrate because I'd be drooling everywhere we went. Oh my god, look at that guy's fucking eye. Oh my god, look at that guy's eyelashes. Go to Greece, man. Oh. 
Freak men. Why? She'd be a. She'd leave a snail trail coming off of Freak the plane. Freak men are just. Mm. <laughs> that whole area in there, though. They're dark yeah, and that, tall that, like, and tan. Mm-hmm. And they're I am talking with somebody in Amsterdam, too, so. Sweet. Oh, let's go. I'll take a trip. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Be a jet party in Amsterdam. Woo. No, no, that's a horrible idea. When are oh, we doing that's it? the best idea ever. Are you telling me? Like Come I said, on. that's a horrible idea. When are we doing it? <laughs> I don't know. When everybody gets fucking passports and the money to go. Let's go. <laughs> I got passport. I got passport. I don't. I've used it. Four times, but I, I have one. I've never left the country, but I definitely need to. I have when I was in high school. I'm a sheltered, sheltered child. <laughs> eh, we can work on that. So. Miss getting tied up in but, uh, Like I said, I just want to give a shout out to all my shops. Uh, Ideal Vapor. Um, say hi to Jackie and James for me. <laughs> Wisco. Wisco. Yeah, I like Wisco. Wisco is very good. I miss um, Jody and John. Yeah, you can now see the purge mod over there too. So cool, cool. gotta get it. So, I want it. Get on it. So let's get on it. Just a big shout out to all my super cool guys. So he, they cuddle. Yes, they do. <laughs> they even cook breakfast in the morning. I've heard. Sometimes I do. So what do you have <laughs> to do to participate in this morning breakfast? Yes. Is there participation the night before? No. Oh, damn it. There could be. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he's like, lots of bacon. <laughs> lots and lots of bacon. But, yeah, but if you guys are looking for a uh, distro, um, that is goes above and beyond most distros, um, yeah. check out my website at paracondensvapors.com. This so. man will find you shit you never thought existed. And it was your, if you're within a 50 mile radius of me, I will hand deliver all your orders personally. So he really does. I've seen the hands. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> what his pin pan is fucking strong. <laughs> he thinks he's not getting that invoice back today. Fuck off. <laughs> There's a reason this man dresses like a Rico agent. True. True. But, All right. uh, yeah. So, folks, if you like what you hear, if you don't like what you hear here on Bad Habits Network, well, thanks for the download. Go fuck yourself. But while you're on your way out, click the heart button. Tell Spreaker that you love us. Matter of fact, just say you love us on our Discord channel where you can talk to us all day, every day, whenever the fuck you want. We will usually answer because at least I'm bored and lonely. <laughs> Correction. He's gonna it, win it's, the bet. <laughs> it, it's it's just me, okay? I'm the bored and lonely one. I'm the only single one in the fucking network. Shut up, man. No. You have options. I mm, mm. I don't have stable options. So now, never said they had to be stable. You just have them. I have hookup options. I don't exactly. have relationship don't have options. <laughs> my okay? hookup options is the fucking distro guy that hands me my eggplants. Like I can, <laughs> I can get dick probably whenever I want, but I do not have any potential boyfriend options. All right, my last hookup was my fucking Reinhardt vendor that managed to get me almonds for half price. Okay, <laughs> that was the best hookup I've had in about eight months. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. I thought, I, thought, I, thought, that, I, I thought you were going to see your left hand, but it should okay. be longer than that. <laughs> it should be longer than eight months. Are you lying? <laughs> what the last hookup was that? I was at Sidelines where they where I got a full cow for half price. <laughs> He's not saying he actually hooked up with anyone, Brofus. No, no, that's that's been the better part of a year. That that's yeah yeah it's okay. So our mission before Christmas is we gotta get Michael fucking a girlfriend and get laid. I'd be thankful. <laughs> Bored, and y- you do realize that you'll be sentencing them to probably at least two or three mental health stays. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> Just saying. I'm Waivers know, guys. may need to be involved. So. Like, share, and subscribe, folks. Find us all over the internet. Bad Habits Network, Peregrinus Cloud Vapes, The Rose, The Mandy, and the great, grand, and gloriously bearded man himself, Ken Andrews. Yes. Fuck off. Good night, guys. We out, we out. <laughs>